So what are we doing today? We're making pulled pork. We're gonna yes. season with my favorite Kansas City rub. We're gonna use up a little bit of Sully's extra rub here. He had, uh, this is what we used for the can, can. The can cans, yeah. So, so it's got a lot of pepper in it. Pepper lot of pepper. You too can have your butt rubbed. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have to pour some of this on. You want to uh, handle the meat or do you want to do the pour? All right, well, I'll smack it again. Come on, put All some right. on there. Put it on there. All right. And when you are seasoning a pork butt, don't worry about the seasoning. Get extra on there. Where do you get that seasoning? Where do you get it? I get it at Kroger. Kansas City Rub. Private selection <laughs> brand. <laughs> How many videos? Actually, that might be the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you are generous. He is. Hey, look. Season them up now. We're gonna wrap them up, put them in the fridge, let them sit 24 hours, and go in the smoker tomorrow. Hey, man, I'm here, man, I'm here now. Are we selling these? Or are we <laughs> <laughs> auction? I thought we're going to the fair. I didn't even know Sully was an auctioneer. <laughs> roll it around. This guy? Roll it around. Roll it around. All right. So we made a mess. We got these seasoned pretty well. Missed a spot. Apparently, we missed a spot. Again, 24 hours of season. We're gonna let this marinate. Ooh, is your pork daddy. And we're getting this on the grill in the morning. They've been in the refrigerator overnight. I took them out so that they could get to room temperature and look how the, take a look how the rub has just drawn the moisture out of them. Now that's gonna cook back in and create a really nice bark. All right, so we have the Green Mountain Grill all fired up. This is all ready to go and get our pork butts on here. guys right in the middle here all right now we're gonna put the temperature probe right here by the bone because the bone's gonna take the longest to heat up all right that's great well let's close the pit down and keep it warm all right so we got our pork pots on here they've been on for about two and a half hours we're spritzing every half hour to 45 minutes and the wind's blowing pretty good. I think we're gonna get some rain here, so I want to cover these back up and keep this pit warm. But how do you, how do you know what the food temp is in there? Well, it's because I press food here. The grill set at 250. We press food. It's gonna tell us the temps at 127. We want this to be about 155, 160 before we wrap it up and cook it the rest of the way. All right. So the meat is about 150 degrees. Anywhere between 150 and 165 is where I like to put it in a pan and cover it. And then you sear in all the juices. But take a look at these. Those look amazing. Like, look at that. You got some real nice crisp around here. The fat has got a really nice crisp on it. Same with the fat cap on this one. That's amazing looking pork right there. So I'm about to pull this off, get it in a pan. I always like to put a little bit of apple juice since I'm spritzing with apple juice, I'm gonna say a half a cup of apple juice in the pan. And then we're gonna use our cool new bear claws. We're gonna pick this guy up and put it in the pan, cover it, get it back on the grill. So, we're gonna get this back on the grill. All right, we got them covered up. We're gonna close this back up. I'm gonna turn this up to 300 degrees just to get it real nice and hot in there. We're cooking these to 200. Once the meat gets to 200 degrees, it's gonna shred well because it's cooked all the way through. So we'll be back in a little bit. All right, our pork is at 200 degrees. That means it's gonna shred really well. So we're gonna get it off the grill. We're gonna take it in, let it cool just a little bit. And then we're gonna use our brand new bear claws and shred this. So. There's not really much to see here, so let's get this off the grill and we'll take it inside. All right, so our pulled pork is done. We've let it cool about 15 minutes. 15, probably more like five. This is napalm hot, but I we're gonna. Got my cocktail, so let's we're gonna shred it. Cheers. Cheers. All right, we're tasting uh, Maker right, Smart 101. Right this is a good stuff. Best way to shred your pulled pork is when it's hot. Look at that nice crust on there. We got look at all the juices. We got all those juices. Now we're gonna shred this and put it back in here. That keeps it moist. So you don't wanna watch me shred all this, but this is amazing. Take a look at how nice and moist that is. Tim, 
I'm Let's asking for a friend. There's really one thing left to do, and that's taste this stuff. Tell me what you think. How's this pulled pork? I'm gonna taste it. OMG. All right, so pulled wow. pork's good. Nice and moist, tender. You gotta cook it 200 degrees. It shreds really well, and get the bear claws. Move if over. you haven't already. Shut up. I need some more. Tim's, uh, what, what, what do you want? Well, I need a claw Tim's so I can pick my own. I'm gonna put my fingers in there. I'm gonna make another pork butt just to make up for what Tim's eating. Dude, that's a bomb. It's what I do. No we. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Retake and cut. That's what we do. No, too late. <laughs> no take backs. <laughs> no take backs. <laughs> Seriously, you don't take any of the fat off. You leave it all in there? I do. Unless it's got a really super thick fat cap. Dude, that is so moist and tender. Maybe Can you, you say don't... moist out loud? Like, is that a... Oh. I mean, someone says moist, it's just, like... It's off the hook. Okay. Oh, look at that. I have all seasoning right there. Mm. Go wash your hands now. Uh-uh. Mm. He just licked his fingers. I could bathe fingers. in that. He licked his fingers, that's why I said I that. I agree. That... You're right, that's a bomb.